I am Carolyn Richardson and I am here for LA Parent Magazine with Peter Cullen and Frank Welker, the voices, the big voices of Transformers The Last Night and really the Transformers series. We're now uh, releasing the DVD and Blu-ray of the fifth installment of the series and these are basically the voices of our childhood. Not only have they done Transformers, but they've done so much more. Guys, you want to tell us kind of how uh, you've, you've weaved yourselves <laughs> voice <laughs> throughout childhood well that's <laughs> i know it's pretty big right peter well uh yeah it's been a wonderful ride uh, i must admit because frank and i have done well he's done 10 times as many things as i have <laughs> uh, actually 20 but i'm not <laughs> and uh, a lot of it uh was never you know the transformers based upon good and evil mm -hmm. optimus prime megatron yeah and uh and such, but um, a lot of it have been the fun things that we we recall from youth, being you know the original cartoons, and, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, it's it's been it's been really a, a wonderful ride. Like I said, you know, going from Eeyore, Winnie the Pooh to Optimus mm -hmm. Prime, and, mm -hmm. and I this man is the king. Well, I, re <laughs> I refer to him whoa, as whoa, the king. <laughs> king, king the dog. Yeah. Yes, uh, I mean, he has done. I, I, he was, I was impressed with him long before I worked with him, mm -hmm. but he did it. He was doing everything and he still does, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, I mean, I, well, I, that's lost very, words, Frank. very lost I, I, you know, I shouldn't stop you, but I, but I will because you're really on a good roll, but actually you can see there's some mutual admiration going I would here. say so. But, you know, we got in really at kind of the renaissance mm -hmm. of animation where this new process uh, that was started by uh, Joe Barbera and Bill Hanna, mm -hmm. uh, the flat animation, and they had a generation of superstars that went through there, and, and all of a sudden it began to pick up and there was room for new people. And I, I remember I got in with them when I was just, was I ever 20? <laughs> I think it was right around then. Yeah. And <clears throat> there were so many shows that they were producing that it really was a great opportunity, a tumor opportunity for me to learn, not necessarily to speak correctly, which you've just witnessed. <laughs> but making noises and cartoons, there was just so many things going on. And then new studios popped up, a new mm -hmm. product. And Peter and I met. I actually admired Peter before we met. And I saw him when he was doing a character on the Sonny and Cher show, which was that crazy little sound effect thing that was on at the beginning of every show. And I heard that and I said, oh man, whoever that is, I hope he doesn't stay in town. <laughs> and literally, what, maybe six months or a year later, we met together in our first show and then we've been fortunate enough to continue on working together. But That is amazing. Yeah. Wow. Well, um, wait a minute, I gotta tell you the, the, the name of name of the show. Oh. oh. Yeah. Mighty Man and Yuck. <laughs> I've never was, heard of Mighty Man and yeah. Yuck. You see, wow. for all you Googlers out there, <laughs> yeah. Mighty Man yeah. and Yuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But now we have Transformers, and obviously a lot of the cartoons and the animation that you guys have voiced are basically giving children a, a time or an opportunity to make their imaginations come to life. So now you have Transformers that's a movie, a live action movie, and it's not um, a cartoon. Talk about the importance of, of basically voicing people's uh, imaginations. Well, let's say, <laughs> first of all, Transformers, uh, it's, it's got some vivid imagination mm -hmm. to it, you know, plus sound. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, is it rated? Rating is... Uh, it's PG-13. This last PG, one is yeah, PG-13. PG mm -hmm. Well, Frank and I were discussing that today, you know. Uh, some of the, A lot of critics didn't get along with the movie, you know. But they, they critics need, you know, a plot. They mm -hmm. need a beginning and an end. Mm -hmm. Kids need, you know, a dozen plots today. I mean, they've got apps going every, mm -hmm. every which way, you know. So they true. can handle that. Mm -hmm. But uh, critics today, it appears to me that they can't handle anything if it has multiple <laughs> plots or something. But uh, I, I, you know, there's, the movie itself takes you on such a trip, you know. Yes. Really does, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of people are not going to understand it, mm -hmm. you know, the first time around. Mm -hmm. But kids do. Yep. They they get it. A lot of reviewers 
didn't get it, but uh, if they watch it again, if they can, <laughs> if you know, they're not, not so the, reviled and repulsed, they could watch it again. <laughs> they love it. They would. Mm -hmm. I think one of the advantages too now of when the release comes out of the uh, the Blu-ray version mm -hmm. is that. It, it's so compact, or so, not compact, but so full of what Peter's talking about, so many elements, so much action, so many characters, yeah. so much color, so much sound, yes. that it's, it's a great opportunity to be able to take your time, which kids do and young people do, and I do. Mm -hmm. I like to go back and look at things and investigate that scene. Why did this happen? Who is this? Just because there's so much mm -hmm. in terms of time or also you can... because you're very old. Huh? <laughs> I said you're very old. Well, I, I, yeah. uh, yes, I do have a cold. Yeah. <laughs> huh? He does. He huh? does. He does. He does. He does. He does. Don't stay close to him. Yes. I, <laughs> <laughs> I got it. See, I got it already. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> well, I will ask your favorite um, line in the movie, each of you, and have you guys uh, look to camera and say your favorite line in, in the movie, in character, obviously. <laughs> I don't remember my lines from the movie. Okay. But um, there's one I, I do like. Okay. One shall stand, one shall fall. <coughs> Should have done the old man. <laughs> that gets me even when he does yes. it right here. I like that. Amazing. All right, let me think here. Uh, yes, I am Megatron, leader of the Decepticons. One shall stand, one shall fall. <laughs> it's hard to work with this man and not crack a smile. Wow. That's amazing. <sighs> Thank you. Um, Gets me. Last question: What's uh, what's the different process for voicing animation um, versus movie? Is it more? Is it a more intense process? Are the edits more? You know, give us a, an idea of what makes it easier or or not. Well, uh, I think in doing animation, uh, uh, generally speaking, you do it with the cast. There's getting less and less now where you work more and more on your own. On the feature, I think both Peter and I worked with Michael Bay uh, singularly or alone. And uh, because, you know, you need to match what's going on in the picture. Mm -hmm. And uh, the process with Michael is a, is a lot of fun for an actor because he comes and sits where you're sitting. He has a suggested set of lines. You look at, at what you what they have. You know, sometimes it's not completed. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you get to see the beautiful color finish in the mouth and on the Pencil action. sketch. Pencil sketch, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you record with him. And uh, he encourages you to sometimes to ad lib or to get into character. You read it three times mm -hmm. one way and then three times and you can add or try something different. And it's great fun. Mm -hmm. When you're with a group, uh, it's more like a play and you're reading off each other and, right. and both have advantages and disadvantages but I think uh, they're just two different type of disciplines. It was more fun when you're with a lot of people. Yeah I think so you because know when you, you're having a big yeah. party and a cast and it's like a play. Well, and animation, animation actors for the most part are you know a lot of them are truly invaluable. I mean they can do so many things. Mm -hmm. You know they're not one trick ponies because they have to do four voices per show. Right. So they're all very you know a lot of them are. And anyway <laughs> uh, there's you have a tendency to laugh a lot. I mean uh, so a five hour session. Back in five hours? At four hours now. Four hours now. Oh yeah it was eight hours. Back in the old days. Huh? It, back in the old days used to be Eight hours. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a lot of haze. Yeah, you couldn't see anything. You know, very uh, restroom hazy. What? Huh? Uh. <laughs> guys, you guys are a lot of fun. We hope there are ten more Transformers movies. In we your do future. too. We yes. really appreciate you. Thanks, Carolyn. Frank. Peter, Carolyn. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for coming in. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye bye.